So I have schizophrenia and a few people have commented on some videos asking for more in that vein. So I'm going to talk this video about um, a schizophrenic hallucination I had. Um, it was a very vivid hallucination and it goes to show how profoundly real a hallucination can seem to be to the person experiencing it. Um, so to keep this story short, I was at Burning Man. I had been doing drugs and I was resting in a tent after a bunch of excitement and crazy running around the desert. So I w woke up from this um, high and uh, after resting it off and I woke up very clear headed but I was still psychotic I wasn't quite um, a chaos of emotions at that moment but I was still under the influence of something and I left the tent all calm, all at ease, just walked out of the tent, not thinking of why I woke up there, why I was sleeping there. But I walked out of the tent and ran into a person. This person was totally vivid to me. They were a hallucination, but I thought they were real because they looked totally like any person would to anybody like I look on this video I look like a real person but uh, like it, this person wasn't real but they were having a conversation with me and they took me sat me down on at a, in a chair and they took a chair beside me and well we just had a conversation about all sorts of stuff we talked about symbols we talked about human evolution we talked about spirituality we talked about all sorts of stuff he gave me a necklace he put it around my neck and it had a it was made of shells and wooden beads glass beads and stuff and in the middle of it there was a wooden bead a rectangular bead with four sides on it and on each side it had a sentence and it was two sentences one on one showing up on two sides and the sentence read you are god Thou art God, you are God, thou art God, rolling the wooden bead around. And after we had the conversation, we started walking away. And at some point, I just parted paths with from this figure, thinking totally he had been real but there was something otherworldly about him. I didn't know what to think, but I was under the spell of this hallucination. And it's just uncanny how vivid it was because it wasn't like I was high on drugs and the world was melting or anything like that I seemed to be steady headed and sober at that moment but I was still subject to a hallucination seeing a whole bodied full flesh audio hallucination that an image that was totally complete that I could touch the person hear them see and I it just didn't have any kind of leakage. There was no points where he disappeared, where he phased out. It was just a constant projection out of my mind. It was 
very weird to think, it's very weird to look back at that and think about how I could have been, I could have seen anything. I could have seen anything happen. I, there was times when I came back from Burning Man into Canada and I was in the hospital that there were days that I didn't know what was going on and doctors saw me talking to things and interacting with objects that weren't there in the room with me. I went from having hallucinations creep into the world that I was in to having hallucinations where I was walking into the wall almost because I wasn't seeing it. <laughs> and it's just very strange to uh, have that experience and it's enlightening because it leads you to doubt the manifestations of the mind as substantial. Some of the manifestations of the mind are clearly substantial. Most of our observations of the world around us, the people around us, the things people say. But the schizophrenic can often be in the middle of a lot of confusion because they feel things and see things that aren't happening. Well, anyway, guys, that's a little bit of a video. Hopefully you found something out about what you were curious about searching for schizophrenia on YouTube. Okay, bye.